Hello, and welcome to our Fall of 2023 Winter Symposium. We are Team Novanta, and the purpose of this presentation is to inform you of our project production track. We would first like to introduce you to our technical directors who made this project possible. First, Jonathan O'Hare, a senior program director from our sponsoring company, Novanta, uh, a URI alumni, and our consulting technical director, Jamie Gagnon, who is a recent graduate of the ELE comp program. Uh, I am Caden Campbell, and I am a dual major in computer and electrical engineering. And I am here with Christopher Quenez, who is majoring in computer engineering. Novanta, our sponsoring company, manufactures precision photonics and high performance galvanometers. And their products can be seen in many industries, such as medical technologies and precision motion products, to name a few. Moving on to project motivation. Manufacturing these products can be a difficult task that requires many steps. Because of this, keeping track of data is important and necessary. Manual data entry, however, is time consuming, inefficient, and error prone. Our anticipated best outcome will be implementing a system that minimizes keyboard entry, accurately captures data, and is easy to use. The project would also monitor quality, produce graphs, identify downfalls, and identify future production goals to enhance management capabilities. Moving on to technical accomplishments. We have successfully integrated the QR scanner into an application, made a graphical user interface for the user, and implemented the back-end C++ code for the GUI. Next is economic impact. Our system would offer better data entry, which will save employees time and effort. Next, it would offer better data organization, which would help identify frequent failure points and would offer traceable orders. And this system would offer scalability, as this solution could be cost-effective and expanded upon for future products. This simple block diagram represents our project. The highlighted section represents where I worked on the project. The first technical contribution that I worked on is QR integration. To integrate the QR scanner into the application, I first had to learn the software development kit of the proprietary QR scanner. This was then used to make a command line program in C Sharp. Once the command line program was made, I used a dynamic link library to integrate the system into C++ and into the GUI. My next technical contribution is backend engineering. The backend code of the GUI consists of QR integration through the Zebra SDK and a dynamic link library. The code also has data sheets to dynamically transfer data between different pages of the GUI. Finally, <clears throat> I coded the GUI components to be able to function within the application. My next technical contribution is data organization. To be able to transfer data between different pages of the GUI, as well as being able to keep track of data. Data organization is necessary. To do this, I used built-in C++ function FileStream within Qt Creator to be able to access files and organize those files within folders. Having good data organization will be important in the next steps we take, which brings me to my last contribution, cloud setup. In order to set up an SQL server, we looked into Docker, which uses containers, a virtual environment that houses all your code to set up and run a local server on my computer. We then use Microsoft Azure SQL to access this server to be able to read and write tables within the server. This brings me on to my anticipated technical contributions. First, of which consists of further SQL integration, where I will use C++ to fully automate sending data from the GUI to the server using Qt SQL. My next anticipated contribution is graphical data visualization, where I will be using Python to create charts and graphs. Finally, 
I will be responsible for developing and integrating a website that will be used to house the data and graphics. Here you can see a block diagram. The highlighted boxes are a visual representation of my technical contributions. First, let's start off with the approach that was made to have organized data occurrences. Expanding off that a bit more, I had to arrange and categorize data points with similar instances in, into more organized groups. Grouping the information into categories that fit each instance led to a more stable validation check, which ensured data accuracy. Having this important information organized would inevitably reduce the time spent on data retrieval and data analysis. This ensures that whoever would need to look over this data would be more time efficient while doing so. This brings us to the development of graphical user interface, or GUI for short. Developing a GUI, I had to get familiar with not only the widget system, but also the C++ code that came with learning the Qt IDE. Learning how to manipulate this language was challenging and led me to become better at debugging after tying all the skills I gained together, I was able to develop a login screen. During this process of the development, I learned how to tie pages together with buttons when pressed. For example, after pressing login, you would get led to the home page. Having multiple pages that do different functions can be a bit overwhelming to the user's eyes. And that will lead me into my next point that dives deeper into style sheet development. Style sheet development, in other words, means to design and style your desired page or widgets. The way you would go about this process would be by using syntax that's similar to what is known as cascading style sheets, or CSS for short. With this element added to the development of the GUI, we designed our UI with a user's workflow experience in mind. Focusing on how the user would interact with the UI was my top priority for me. Something as simple as whether or not the UI is appealing to the eye and or can be navigated easily could determine whether a user wasted more time than necessary. For the upcoming semester, my anticipated contributions to the project will consist of web design and development, or in other words, the front end coding. The refinement of the user interface where polishments to your GUI will be made and enhanced. And finally, graphical data visualizations to visualize the data that will be imported to the GUI. Now for our team's future accomplishments toward the project, we expect to have automated SQL data entries, HTML design and development, work on the graphical data visualization, and polishing made to the user interface. We'd like to thank our technical directors, Jonathan O'Hare and Jamie Gagnon. And I'd like to thank our ELE Comp Program Director, Dr. Harris Sunak, for the opportunity to work on this great project and for their support throughout the semester. Working on this project has been a real privilege for Caden and I and has truly done a great job in preparing us for the future career in engineering field. Thank you.